So I have a hard hitting question to start. Uh -huh. So when Nikita when Nikita first started in season one, she's kind of a loner. But yes. then over the season, she really kind of found a family. So in the finale, why was the decision made to have Nikita kind of lose her desire to be with the family and kind of go back to being a loner and you know leave the family? I think that it's it's a case of relapse, really, to um, self-destructive behavior that isn't fully addressed, so it hasn't fully gone away yet. And while she, when she does it, it's not like she's making the choice to be alone because she wants to be a loner, consciously. Okay. She's saying, I'm doing it because the heat that's about to come down on me is so big, I, I want to essentially, I don't want them to be hurt by it. So I'm going to go off by myself and take it on myself. Um, though I think that behind that is there's something that she hasn't dealt with yet that is the reason that she keeps lonering out. Is that something that will be addressed then in the last six episodes? Yeah. Like what mm -hmm. the driving force was? Mm -hmm. Can you can you tease? Well, I, I think it starts it starts um, it starts early in, in a person. You know, I think it starts like in childhood, and she had a rough childhood, and so we're sort of gonna she she needs to deal with that. You know, division's not really the place that is big on that kind of therapy. They like to take a damaged person and twist the damage to make you a great killer, not to really fix your problems. So she still really hasn't addressed that stuff. Um, I'm gonna always loved, and I really loved last season, how um, you really explored the relationships between a lot of different characters, um, you know, not just Nikita and Alex and Michael and Nikita. Um, so are we gonna see more of that in the last six episodes, um, you know, Nikita and Amanda and just kind of exploring more yeah. between the cast? Yes, I think so. I think there's, there's a little bit more sort of in that to ring out you know, we don't want to repeat ourselves, but I think that there's there's some more uh, stuff to get out between all of them. Finally. Do you know how it ends? Yeah, and you're I think so. <laughs> I think I know how it ends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But like I, you know, like I said, uh, I thought Amanda was going to die last year. I was like pretty sure of that, and it didn't happen. So. I'm open to change. Can you talk a little bit about going into writing the season knowing that it's going to be the end and only six episodes as opposed to arcing out a full 22? Mm -hmm. It was great. I mean, knowing it is like such a blessing because for writing because you, you know what you're writing to as opposed to you're writing vaguely to something that you may have to elongate or something like that. Um, so we started talking about the end on the day one. We started talking about the ending moment. That's how we started, not how it's going to go, where's it going to go, you know, how we're going to start. It's like, let's figure out the end and work back from there. So, and, and knowing six made that a lot more uh, tangible. So, yeah. With the division facility now gone, how have you are taking advantage of kind of the freedom to have new locations and that? Going into last six well, we're making their their headquarters uh, uh, in a plane, in a, in a 727 that uh, Alex, a cargo jet that Alex, like Yudinov, air, you know, has, has given them, um, and that they can fly all, all over the world and um, you know get to those places. And I think it kind of is a symbol for them being on the run. It's good that they have like this mobile base, you know, and it's kind of rickety. And <laughs> so. I was just asking Aaron, who's who's going to fly the plane? <laughs> That's it's kind of a joke in the show, so I don't you know. But like, we're still figuring that out in a weird way. Like it was going to be Cyrus, it was going to be uh, you know. So, but basically, right now, it's like I think Burkoff can fly, Michael can fly. They set it on autopilot when they get up to you know cruising altitude, and then someone's got to go land. But we don't have just some dude in the cabin going like, "Where to? What are you guys doing?" You know, like, just like so. Like Sean it didn't miraculously get resurrected or something to fly the plane. That uh, no, no. <laughs> if you um, trying to play this, if you knew you had uh, like six episodes to wrap it up, you know, last season or I mean, do you think it could have been done, or is it more you kind of realized you had six episodes, um, you kind of change your game plan a little bit? There's probably a storyline or two that we were going to do that we won't do now, but beside that, because I, I, honestly, if it wasn't six, I thought it was going to be 13. I didn't think it was going to be a full 22, so it's not that much of it.
Did you write, when you wrote um, the end of last season, did you do it with, you know, knowing, not knowing if you were really going to be back or did you kind of have an inkling? I, I felt we were going to be back. I felt they were definitely going to bring it back for something. I thought, thought it was going to be 14, 13. <laughs> okay, we did too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is, do you think there's a happy ending for any or some of the characters? Um, yeah. Some of them. <laughs> 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 so who? No. So division is kind of what brought everyone together. Are we going to see how division no longer existing may cause rifts in some of these alliances and friendships? Well, they've gotten along outside of it. Like in season two, they were essentially outside of it. Um, you know, so you know, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the fact that it's being brought to the surface, it was always a secret that was almost, you could say, its defining feature, that it was secret. That's really what gave it its power. And now it's all kind of coming out in the press. That's what's happening in season four. Um, and that gets a lot of fingers pointing and stuff. But I think they've formed a bond that's beyond the place, like survivor bond. Yeah. Cool.